guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'll do the video featuring the best of chanel i'm a big fan of chanel i always was the difference is i couldn't always afford <laughs> what i wanted and of course i still cannot afford everything what i would like to have from chanel but the items that i have some of them i love it so much and i use it a lot and some of them i don't reach for so today i thought i'll do this video featuring my absolutely top notch favorite products from chanel so i got out here quite a collection um i have a little bit of everything i'm gonna start with the perfume i have quite a few different chanel perfumes but my all-time favorite, the one that I always recommend, and it seems like most of the people like it, is Coco Mademoiselle. This is the perfume, well, not exactly this bottle, but this perfume I won uh, from, what, okay, back in college, um, obviously I was extremely poor. I couldn't afford any Chanel product. I remember Chanel opened um, in a, I lived in New Jersey and they opened uh, a Bloomingdale store and they had brand new, you know, Chanel counter. And I really loved one of the nail polishes they have and I purchased. And this way I participated. They told me there's some kind of a gift basket to win. And you know, out of those thousands and thousands of people who filled up the form, you know, to be, you know, participant in this basket, you know, I won. I could not believe it, but I won. And it was a basket kit full of perfumes, makeup. I mean, you name it, everything was there. So one of the perfumes that was there was Coco Mademoiselle. And this was the first time I ever, you know, used those perfumes, but I loved it so much. So this is probably third or fourth bottle that I have since then. I absolutely love this perfume. It's it's not too sweet, it's not too strong. I just feel like it's such a healthy balance for someone who is, you know, a perfume lover and uh, many women, it's, it's a signature scent for many, many women and it's absolutely amazing. And it's one of my favorite perfumes and I recommend this to everyone. Another item that I use quite a lot and I want to share with you is one of the blushes. Um, when I won this big basket of cosmetics, there was a one blush included, but I don't even remember the name of it. I just remember every time I use it, I get such a compliment. Some of the blushes are limited edition, but I think this one is a permanent. It's in the color 80 jersey, and I feel like this blush, it will work for everyone. This is such a universal color absolutely beautiful blendability top notch i don't know it's just like a healthy little flush of color to your cheeks and because you need it just a little bit i know it looks like it's barely used but you just need a little bit because they are quite pigmented and you know you, you really don't want to have a lot of blush on you you know to not look like a clown so i i feel like this is just gonna last you for a very very long time i obviously don't use this little brush it's completely useless i just my favorite brush for blush right now is the bobby brown um if i find it i'll link it down below for you guys as well as the anything else that i can find it will be linked down below one more cosmetic item that i hope it's available because i didn't check is the lipstick if you are like me that um like some nudes sometimes especially if you have a little bit stronger eye color you're gonna love the cecile from chanel this lipstick is like your perfect nude but with a little hint of pink so i cannot really wear like a straight nude because i look like a dead person but this one has a little bit of the pink and it doesn't um, you know look very mauvey on your lips. It looks very very natural slightly like enhance your lip color It's such a great lipstick. I hope it's still available Because um, sometimes they do some of the lipstick like you know again limited edition But I think this one is permanent collection. So I'll try to link it down below Again, if you like nudes, but not too nude, you're gonna love the Cecil. 
Okay, let's talk about the accessories and uh, in particular the jewelry. So I have quite a few brooches that I purchased throughout the years, but my absolute, absolute favorite, that probably the one that I reach for the most is this beautiful number. This brooch I remember I purchased in Dallas Chanel boutique and it is pretty heavy, you know, it's pretty substantial. Um, as you can see, it's quite large. I also have this one on me today, but honestly, this is one of my last one that I purchased, but if I'll have to pick, this is like my top notch. Um, and I love the fact that it has a little bit of the sparkle. It's not like fully covered with, uh, you know, like crystals or I don't know exactly what they use on those brooches. It just has this beautiful muted silver tone with just a little bit of the sparks. And I mean, you can wear brooches with anything you would like. And sometimes I even put like on my handband. It's just so, so beautiful. I love this brooch so much and it's been already, I don't know, five, six years like I have it. Absolutely love it. My favorite bracelet that I use quite a bit is this black bracelet from Chanel. I love this bracelet because it does not have any small beads, you know, on the CCs, doesn't have any um, parts that I can lose <laughs> because the other bracelet that I have has like some kind of pearls and I just keep losing those and I try to fix it in the past and they tell me ridiculous price at the Chanel store to fix it. Um, I feel like it's just a simple, simple, you know, um, black bracelet but at the same time it's just it's very beautiful and I love this you know little sissy dingling you know when you wear this I think it's just really cute these are obviously not real pearls or anything like that so generally speaking I don't really recommend fashion jewelry that much I think having one or two pieces that you're gonna really love it's probably worth it but yeah, generally speaking, I think they are overpriced and personally, I do not recommend those. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about sunglasses. I have a couple of sunglasses from Chanel, but my top favorite are the ones that I purchased. I've got it actually as a gift. I've got money <laughs> and I purchased this from the money that I've got. Um, are these. These are like a simple aviators. I know they are discontinued for sure because Chanel never keep the same style I guess of sunglasses they always the shape is there but like the sides usually change I love the little lambskin leather that they have on the sides with those little CC um, really really pretty I mean if you look at up front you cannot really tell that those are Chanel's you'll have to kind of look at it on the side they are very like I said very comfortable on your you know on your nose on your face and uh, very secure absolutely love these and I like the look of the brown and of the, you know, of the gold around. I think it's really, really nice. Love it so much. That's how it looks on me. Love those glasses. Like I said, very comfortable and very secure on my face. Also, Before I go to the small leather goods, I'm going to talk about two scarves that I love so, 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 so much. So when I purchased the brooch in Dallas Boutique, I also came across this scarf. And... I love it so much. This is my favorite, my favorite, absolutely favorite. I loved it so much that I end up getting in the blush pink as well, but it's not as much in use as this one. That's why I didn't, uh, I'm not showing you this one. It's basically the same, but it has like a blush pink color instead of uh, black. This one is just a staple. I love white, I love black, and then you have those big CCs basically, you know, all over the scarf, and I, I just think it's so beautiful. It's just so, so stunning, and it's a big scarf, you know, it's a, I think it's a 90 centimeters by 90, so it's like, what, 36 inches by 36. Beautiful, all silk. I mean, it's just that, such a staple, you know, in my wardrobe, so. Hopefully it's gonna <laughs> cool down so I can wear my scarves again because the summer oh, It's still like 96 degrees and it's already October. It's ridiculous um, This is another one that I love as well as you can see again 
the white or the black this one is more white obviously than black this one is called the x-ray scarf and i've got this from um, my husband for christmas one of the christmases few christmases ago and again as you can see there is like a little luggage there's a handbag there's a watch <laughs> you know so it's everything kind of i think it's a jacket right here i don't know there's some bottle perfumes and you know it's just everything looks kind of like an x-ray image that's why it's called the um, x-ray scarf love it because i love black and white so much and i wear a lot of black and you know it's i i like it they can just you know accessorize and take your outfit to the next level love my scarves all right let's talk about the small leather goods because i have quite a few to share one of the first and one of the oldest items that i have which is a staple in my collection is obviously the <laughs> key holder i've got this years and years and years and years and years ago um it's amazing it's held on so beautifully it's all caviar with the gold hardware um you know inside it can look a little damaged because of the you know the indentation of the key and this is all lambskin by the way but you know who cares outside looks like brand new there's a little pocket which i think it's a little bit useless to be honest with you on the back but this is great i keep it all the time in my handbags i i just love it this is just something that i love it so much and uh it's yeah it's been like five six years or even more like i have it and this is like my everyday it, it's in my everyday use another quite old piece in my collection is my flat i think it's called flat or just card holder um i purchased this one um in orlando boutique in florida and i fell in love with this big sissy sissy and i loved the patent leather this card holder is so soft it's just so squishy <laughs> so so comfortable and i love it so much and at first i was afraid of the fingerprints and whatever chanel does with their patent leather really doesn't leave the fingerprints on their items i'm i'm actually quite pleased and you know surprised and this item is five years old i had to count in my head it's about five years old and i've used it a ton the big cc is just so stunning and you know everybody should have some kind of a you know card holder it doesn't have to be that color again they just bring up the colors and little patterns in limited edition so you're not gonna find this particular one but it's just so beautiful any of those card holders are amazing Another card holder which I love and I use quite a bit is the Zippy coin purse, Zippy card holder. I don't know exactly. They call everything okay. So <laughs> go figure. This is the old model. I got this in 2016 in Hawaii and I've got this. It was a little bit cheaper than on the mainland. Um, this was when I purchased my jumbo. This was the same time purchase, and it's in the caviar letter with the gold hardware. This is the you know, like I mentioned, the old model. I think the newer one has like a pocket. Some of them have even like a more sections for you know credit cards. This one is just a standard, the original one, but it's it's such a nice item it's great as a little wallet if you don't carry much cash just you know cards mainly this can be your wallet this can be your you know obviously you can fold the cash and put in there that's what i've done in the past but it's great to keep your extra cards stored cards or anything like you have you know some receipts and it's just like a little stylish item so a couple of years ago i also and the purchasing this wallet which is like a medium size like a compact size wallet and this size of a wallet works the best for me it doesn't have to be chanel it happens that i do have chanel and i own another one of those in the 
in the boy boy bag kind of a print which uh, honestly I didn't use it yet <laughs> I'm waiting for like more fall and winter kind of weather uh, but I got this one a couple of years ago and I love it so much I used a lot you know the color is to die for it's a lambskin so it has some signs of use obviously but this size of a wallet it works the best for me it has a four credit card slots it has this um, you know the space for your coins you can see everything so nicely in here and it's just such a happy color and it's all zip around so everything stays nice and secure in this wallet they come every season they have them in many different colors they have many different finishes and this size is my favorite one because you know i mean if you need extra cards you can always take some card holders to carry extra stuff and you can have just your necessity you know inside in here yes you have to fold the cash <laughs> you know the us dollars are not going to fit if you're from different country it might work for you polish money will fit in here but not the us dollars they're just longer but it's okay it doesn't bother me i absolutely love this wallet got many compliments on this so this is hands down my favorite type of wallet I mentioned many times how much I love the cosmetic case from Chanel. This cosmetic case is in this beautiful, very deep, rich uh, red color with um, gold champagne, gold or champagne hard hardware. Most of the time it just stays in my bag. Right now it's full of stuff as I'm using it. So I have even my beauty blender in here. So yeah, I just use it all the time absolutely love it yes it is expensive but you know if this is something that you're gonna use all the time and it's like a perfect size you know to carry just your lipstick and your compact and see I even carry my beauty blender because sometimes I like to you know especially if I use it in the morning it still have some foundation left over and I kind of you know I can do some touch-up during the days that's my little trick recently that's what I've been doing so I I just love to keep it you know in my handbag and especially if I have a long day at work it's just such a nice little you know handy item to have and I use it all the time love it the last two SLGs that I'm gonna share with you are my O cases uh, the yellow one is the one that I use mostly I didn't use much of the pink one for some reason I don't know why I got the yellow one first so it's used more than the pink but I love them both I think they're great a little catch-all to keep in your handbag you can put your hair stuff you can uh, put your coins in here you can I wouldn't really use it for the cosmetics but you can obviously they don't have a wipeable interior so um, you know you have to be careful a little bit like the cosmetic case has this little nylon -y wipeable interior so I can wipe it off if something happened but those don't so you have to just be very careful yeah I should basically show you the yellow one because this is the one I've really used quite a bit and uh, I love again I love the yellow color I bought it together with my uh, compact wallet that I showed you earlier and it's just such a beautiful item you can put your even you can use it even as your um wallet you know just put a cup of cards in here cash and everything will be in one place and it's it's such a great little item use your imagination you can use for anything <laughs> you would like Whew. the last item that i'm gonna share with you is the handbag i do have i think i have three chanel handbags but i'm gonna show you only one because this is the bag that i use it the most out of the three that I have and the handbag I'm gonna show you is my reissue <laughs> so this handbag I purchased pre-owned and um, was it a year ago a little bit more than that I don't even remember <laughs> times fly so fast this handbag is beautiful and the reason I picked it is because it's very easy to style it's very light my jumbo is really heavy that's my main concern this one is very light and i love you know the calfskin distress leather that has this handbag as well as very discreet um 
hardware. And this is exact combination that I wanted. I wanted this, uh, you know, kind of dark hardware and uh, distressed calfskin leather. This was my ideal combination and I'm so happy that I have it. This is in the size 227, which is the equivalent of the jumbo, but it is a double flat. I'm gonna show you inside. It's the same double flat as the jumbo, but is the, it, it's pretty much looks inside. I have a, let me take this out. It's pretty much the same layout as the jumbo. Obviously here's the pocket and, uh, but it's way, way, way lighter. Obviously this is the handbook that we all know can kind of squish and can fold. My base uh, thankfully is not like a Boeing, you know, yet, and I hope it won't because I'm not a big fan of the folding the base. Um, but yeah, I love everything about this handbag. This is such an, like I said, such an easy to style bag and just grab and go. And um, yeah, absolutely love it. There's obviously the pocket in the back. Um, yeah, and it doesn't scream Chanel. And at the same time, I feel really good wearing it. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much it. Those are my top-notch favorite, favorite Chanel items. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything I can find, I will link it down below for you. So you can go ahead and check it out. Let me know what are your favorite Chanel items. I would love to know. Let's have a little conversation. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to my channel, click on the notification bell. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!